Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter seven, lesson nine. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, normally, I would be preaching at you, PEMDAS, 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 because of those parentheses. However, we're adding the entire time, so in all honesty, they don't matter, okay? So, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to, when I'm doing these, I like to take my whole numbers and put them over to the side and add them up at the end. Okay, so now I'm just dealing with the fraction part. Okay, so my denominator is still gonna be eight, but I have one plus five is six, plus seven more is 13. Now you'll notice that's an improper fraction because the top is bigger than the bottom. So eight is gonna go into 13 one time, which would be eight, and 13 minus 8 is 5, and my denominator would stay the same. So now my fraction part is 5 eighths, and then my whole number is 10 plus 3 is 13, plus 2 more is 15, plus 1 more is 16. 16 and 5 eighths, guys. Okay? Not so bad once you get used to it. Okay? Pause it, write it down, write down your work, show your work. Okay, all right. So we are going to go and do number three. Okay, it says eight and one fifth plus three and two fifths plus five and four fifths. So I'm going to underline my whole number so I know what I'm working with. I'm going to put 8, 3, and 5, and then I'm going to rewrite my fractions down here. Okay, and we know the denominator is going to be 5 no matter what. Okay, so now I have 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, well, 7 over 5, 5 goes into 7 one time. 1 times 5 is 5, so 7 minus 5 is 2, and my denominator will still be 5. So I'm going to take that 1, and I'm going to move it over here. Okay, I'm going to add those up. Okay, and then my fraction part is going to be that 2 fifths, and I have 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 5 is 16, plus 1 more is 17. 17 and 2 fifths. Okay, write down your work, guys. Okay. All right, flip it, we're gonna do another one. Okay. All right, so six and three quarters plus four and two fourths plus five and one fourth. Okay, so again, whole numbers over here. Six, four, five, okay? Then I'm going to come down and I'm gonna rewrite. And yes, I'm rewriting them because I don't want to try and do it mentally and get it wrong. So I know my denominator is going to be 4. Okay, so 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 more is 6. Well, 6 goes into, sorry, 4 goes into 6 one time. I would have 2 left over and my denominator is still 4. Okay, so I'm going to take the 1 and put it over here. Okay, so that means I have 10, 15, 16. And I still have my two fourths, 16 and two fourths, guys. Okay. Write it down, show your work, it's important. I know y'all don't think so right now, but it will be. Okay, we're gonna do one more before I turn you on your own, okay? Six and three six plus 10 and four six plus nine and two six, okay? 
underline your whole numbers, put them over here. Okay, rewrite. Okay, my denominator is gonna stay a six. Okay, three plus four is seven, plus two more is nine. Okay, nine, or sorry, six goes into nine one time. I would have three left over and my denominator would still be six. So I take my one and I move it. Boom, and my fraction part is still six. So now six plus 10 is 16, plus nine is 25, plus one is 26. 26 and three six. Okay, not so bad guys, pause it, write down your work. Okay, you guys are gonna do six through nine. Okay, I know you can, you're amazing. Okay, and we're gonna go down and do the word problems. Okay, Nate's classroom has three tables of different lengths. One has four and a half feet, another has four feet, and a third has two and a half feet. So, four and a half, plus four, plus two and a half, okay? Well, this one is gonna be super easy because I'm gonna go, there's one half, there's the other half, that's gonna equal one. And then four plus four is eight, plus two more is 10. It can be 11, 11 feet. That one they made pretty easy for us, okay? All right, so let's clip it. We're going to go over here. Mr. Warren uses two and a quarter bags of mulch for his garden, another four and a quarter bags for his front yard. He also uses three quarters of a bag for around a fountain. How many total bags of mulch does Mr. Warren use? So, two and a quarter plus four and a quarter plus three quarters. So I'm going to underline my whole numbers and I'm going to put them over here. And then I'm just going to use one quarter and one quarter and three quarters. Okay. So my denominator stays four. One plus one is two plus three is five. Top is bigger than the bottom. So I know. Four goes into five one time. I would have one left over and my denominator stays four. I'm going to take my one and I'm gonna move it. And my fraction part will be a quarter. So two plus four is six plus one more is seven. So seven and one quarter bags. Okay. Pause it and write down your work. Okay. All right, we're gonna go over to the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check because you're amazing and you can. And we're gonna go down and do the flower review, okay? There were six oranges in the refrigerator. Joey and his friends ate three and two thirds oranges. How many oranges are left? So we have six minus the three and two thirds. I don't know who eats two thirds of an orange, but okay. All right, so you'll notice that six doesn't have a fraction. So I'm gonna borrow one, making it five, and I'm gonna put a three over three because that my denominator is a three. So now I have five and three over three minus three and two over three, okay? So five minus three is two, three minus two is one, and I keep my denominator, two and one third, oranges. There we go. Okay. All right. Charlie Ian was asked to identify each of the following numbers as primes. <laughs> okay. So let's see. The only number here, so I can get to 12 by 1 times 12, 2 times 6, okay, 
I can get to 21 by 3 times 7. All right. 39, I can do 3 times 13. Well, 2 then. 2 is the only prime number there because the only number that can only be multiplied by itself and 1 to get to it. Okay? All right. A teacher has 100 chairs to arrange for an assembly in equal rows. Write one way the chairs can be arranged. Okay, so how do we make 100? Okay, so we could make 1 times 100, 2 times 50, no 3, but 4 times 25, or 10 times 10, right? So it could be 2 times 50. Let's not do 1 times 100, okay? It could be 4 times 25, or it could be 10 by 10, okay? All right. Nick bought 28 folding chairs for $15 each. How much money did Nick spend? Well, let's find out. 28 times 16. And whatever your answer is going to be, it's going to have a dollar sign in front of it. Oops, sorry, you guys can't see that. Okay. So, 6 times 8, 48. Carry that 4. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16. We are going to go through and do tick, tack, so, and then 1 times 28 is 28. So we have 8, 14, carry that 4. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4, $448. All right, y'all, thanks for hanging out for 7.9. Come on back for 7.10.